How are you guys? I hope you were all excellent. Uh, I've come here today to read this book for you. It's a book that we usually would read during our read aloud in circle. But since we are not having this opportunity for a while, so I'll be recording the reading of some of these books and I'll be posting them on our Google Classroom, okay? So I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or anything to share about this read alouds, please text me through Google Classroom, all right? So I hope you have fun. This book is called what is culture? The title of this book is a question. So what is culture, year three? What's your opinion about it? What do you think culture is? And this book was written by Bobby Common. Let's check out. Let's move up to next pages and see if you find out more about what culture is. Let's go. And looking at the page, you know, looking at the cover of this book, we see that there are two boys. And I wonder where these boys might be from. Where do you think these boys are from? Yeah, maybe they are Asian boys. I wonder if they are, you know, Chinese boys, Japanese boys, right? And... I also wonder about this question. Where do you think we'll be, you know, finding information about this uh, question? Yeah, probably in the following pages, right? So let's open up the book. Let's check uh, in moving up to next page to see if we find out more things about this book. And this book was written by Bobby Common. Wow, look at the page. We see a girl, right? And she's surrounded by symbols. Symbols from different cultures, such as a dragon, you know, that represents um, Asian culture, like Chinese dragons. I see a soccer ball as well. Typically, uh, a Brazilian sport, for example, not only Brazilian, but one of the main sports we have in Brazil. We see also African instrument, you know, musical instruments. We see a lot of symbols because probably they will be, you know, bringing to us information, culture, you know, uh, specific things about these countries and continents. Let's move up. Okay. Uh, on this page, we see that there is a very informative page. So I can predict that this book may be an informative book because it's bringing to me a table of content. Let's check the table of content closer. Okay, right. So we can see that uh, this book has 32 pages and we see exactly what's going to happen on each page right so for example on page four we'll read about this topic the title of the book by the way what is culture okay and on page six we'll be reading about continents and countries on page eight another question what is history page 10 the story of you Page 12, different beliefs. Page 14, the culture of clothing, and so on. Ah, and year three, if you paid attention, uh, the numbers here, it, there is a column of number uh, because they are the number of pages uh, in this book. But have you checked that there is a pattern? Have you checked the pattern on these numbers? Yeah, I see a pattern. What kind of pattern can you see? Are these numbers odd or they are even? What do you think? And how about the counting pattern? We move from 4 to 6, from 6 to 8, from 8 to 10. What kind of pattern can you find here? Yeah, well, there's 
a math question for you in this reading. Huh? If you have the answers, write to me, right? Let's go and let's continue. Okay, what is culture? Let's read together. If you can read this book with me, you can practice your reading. So let's read along. Culture is the way we live. It is the clothes we wear, the foods we, we eat, the languages we speak, the stories we tell, the ways we celebrate. It is the way we show our imaginations through art, music, and writing. Culture is also about our roots. Where did our ancestors come from? Ancestors are the people in our families who are alive long before we were. What do we believe? What makes our lives different from the lives of others? Come celebrate culture with us. So looking and analyzing the illustrations, we see uh, boys, you know, wearing different clothes, you know, like this boy here. Oops. What do you think it's happening on this illustration? What this illustration is showing to us? Look at here. The description says, culture is what, when, where, why, and how people celebrate. This Mexican boy, for example, is breaking a piñata at his birthday party. It is filled with candies. Well, however, in Brazil, we break, we blow up balloons, right? So look at the differences between his culture and our culture. And over here, for example, we see that these two boys are African boys. So culture is about our family's stories. These boys are wearing African style shirts. Their ancestors lived in Africa hundreds of years ago. On this page, we see people living all around the world, right? Look at the pictures. The people in each country have different ways of life. The pictures below show some of the things that make up the culture, the cultures on earth. So look at here, sport, celebrations, uh, history, clothing, beliefs, music and dance, art and food. Continents and country. There are seven continents on earth. Continents are huge areas of land. Most continents are made up of several countries. And the people in each country speak different languages and have different cultures. Long ago, people did not know about one another's culture. Now, people travel all over the world. They also immigrate or leave their countries to live in a new country. So we see very well the pictures here representing these uh, pieces of information. So look down, looking down on page, we see the habitants of, you know, uh, Antarctica. We also see here the globe map showing us all the continents on earth the boy wearing blue on our right here is reading in more than one language so he is a bilingual boy and down on our right here wearing a red t-shirt we see another boy holding up an Australia flag, another symbol of a country and culture. All right, let's read a bit about history. So it says, history is a record of how people lived in the past. The past is the time before now. History is the stories of different cultures. Stories told out loud. Some stories in history were told by grandparents to their grand grandchildren 
uh, who then share them with their grandchildren. All around the world, native peoples have passed down their histories orally or through spoken words. And how about the books, movies, and art? Histories are also found in books. Some history books describe events such as wars. Others show history through the writings and actions of people who lived during certain times. History can also be seen in paintings, statues, and buildings. History comes alive in festivals, celebrations, and in movies. What are your favorite ways to learn about history? So that's a good question for you, year three. How do you learn about history? And how do you learn about the history of your family? So do you listen to the stories your grandparents tell you? Look at the pictures here, illustrating how people pass down their stories. So native North American peoples told their stories through spoken stories. And down here on the page, we see a man that is here, you know, uh, representing a hero, a man who, who was probably very important in his time. So learning about a country's heroes helps us understand how people can change history. Very interesting. Here are other ways to get to know more about history, about our past, our ancestors. So, for example, visiting historic villages such as uh, this pioneer village is a great way to learn about history. Dressing in a historic costume can make you feel like a part of history too. Look at the girl. She's dressing up like ladies used to dress, you know, long time ago. And down here, children and adults love stories and movies about pirates of long ago. There are many festivals today that celebrate pirates with costumes, parades, and fun activities. This boy is enjoying his day as a pirate. The story of you. History helps you learn about yourself. Who are you and why do you live the way you live? The best place to start learning about history is to find out about your family. Where were you born? Where were your parents, grandparents and ancestors born? Are both your parents from the same country and culture? You can learn a lot about yourself by writing a family history. Are your parents from the same country or culture? How many languages do you speak? And how about guys asking your grandparents to show you pictures and tell you about their lives at your age? Make a list of all the ways your life is the same as theirs and how it is different. Another way to share and learn about your past is to share your story, uh, your story with other members of your family. It's their story too. Learn more about the history of your ancestors from the internet. It's a very good and effective way to learn about yourself as well. Are you named after any famous people? What about traditions? So what special traditions does your family have? Traditions are customs and beliefs passed down through families or cultures. This grandma, for example, and her granddaughter are sharing a Thanksgiving recipe. Different beliefs. A religion is a belief in a god or gods or in special ways that help people live better lives. 
most religions have houses of worship where people gather together to practice their faith or beliefs. They also have holy books that contain the writing of religious leaders and teachers. Most religions have one or more symbols. Below are some of these religious symbols. Here we can see the cross is a symbol of Christianity. Okay, so Christians believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus died on a cross. The crescent moon and the star are part of the flags of some Islamic countries. Not all Muslims accept this symbol, however, because it was not used when uh, Islam first became a religion. Uh, what else? So we have now here the um, Star of David and the Menorah. Uh, these two symbols are symbols of the Judaism. The Star of David appears on the flag of Israel. The Menorah is the symbol of the Jewish faith. What else we have? Oh, here I see another symbol. Hindus chant. So the Hindus chant the word Om when they meditate or sit in silence. Hindus believe that Om is the sound from which earth was created. And the last one is the eight part on this wheel, okay, uh, so this wheel represents the eight ways that Buddhists believe they can find peace and true happiness. So here on this page, we can clearly see people practicing uh, their, you know, faith. So they are praying, they are reading Bibles, you know, religious books. This boy, for example, is Jewish and he's praying at a Western wall in Jerusalem, Israel. He's reading from the Bible, which is written uh, in Hebrew language. Okay, let's go for the next. Moving up to this page, we have the culture of clothing. Most children around the world wear modern clothes, like the clothes you wear. Some children also wear traditional clothes at special times, such as on holidays, at weddings, or during festivals. Sometimes, older people in a family wear traditional clothing, whereas the children wear modern clothes. The young South Asian woman on the left is wearing traditional clothing, jewelry, and makeup on her wedding day. The boy on the right is wearing traditional Korean suit. So look at their clothes and the way they are dressing. Very, very nice, huh? And how about children? How do you think the children wear clothes? Usually, most of children wear comfortable mother clothing, like jeans, t-shirt, right? And how about these people? Would you be able to describe their clothing? Let's have a look at here. These children, for example, are dressed in traditional Indian jackets at a family party. On our right, we see a Japanese family. Wow, this Japanese grandmother is wearing a kimono and the rest of the family is dressed in mother clothes. And how about the boys? These Muslim boys live in Indonesian. They are wearing long, 
loose shirts and have caps on their heads. Because many Muslims and boys or girls, uh, they always, they usually uh, cover their heads, you know? Mmm, let's talk about food. Tasting culture. Food is another way to represent culture. Let's have a look at the text. Food is a good way to learn about the cultures of others. Every time you eat food, you are tasting culture. Many of the foods you eat have come from other places. What are your favorite foods? Where were the foods first eaten? So here we can see, oops, Japanese fried rice. We can also see the Japanese, famous Japanese sushi. And these children are eating Japanese food. They are using chopsticks. And what else we have here? Food. Mm, chunks of meat, curries, nacho chips. What else we have? A hamburger as well. The first hamburger was served in the United States in 1902. Wow. Today, it is a favorite food in almost every country. And how about this boy? What, what does he have in his hand? Meatballs, right? Meatballs can be found in many countries. They are often served with spaghettis. Swedish meatballs are eaten with potatoes. Moving up to this page, we see music and dance. And we see the boy and the girl very happy playing their instrument. So let's read together. Music and dancing make people feel happy. Most young people listen and dance to rock music. Each country also has traditional instruments, music and dances that celebrate its cultures. Mexican mariachi music, for example, is played with guitars, violins and trumpets. Accordion music is also popular in many European countries, such as Poland and Hungary. Look at the girls here, down on the page dancing, on the picture. So these Chinese girls are dressed in red, the color that stands for happiness. They are singing and dancing in a group. Group dancing brings people together and teaches them to work as a team. Get up and dance. When people hear music, they want to dance. People dance in different ways. Some dances are difficult and are taught in dance schools. Some are made up or learned from friends. Look at the guy here, dancing break dancing. Hip hop dancing is started on the streets of New York City. The first hip hop dance was break dancing. Ballet. Ballet has difficult movement. This girl learned to dance at a school, at a ballet school. Native and non-native people meet to honor native North American culture at events called powwows. Dancing is a big part of powwows. There are competitions in which native dancers can show their skills. Each ODC dance movement has a meaning. So look at the girls' movements. ODC dance is a very old classical Indian dance. Indian classical dance involves the mind and the body. Celebrating culture. To celebrate is to make an event special. 
people celebrate birthdays, religious holidays, and special times of the year. People also celebrate a country's history and heroes. They celebrate with music, dance, parades, costumes, and light. Food is a big part of most celebrations. What are your favorite celebrations year three? And how do you celebrate these events? Checking this page, we can clearly see a shape of an animal. Which animal is this? Which animal shape is the lantern above? People all over the world now celebrate festivals such as Chinese New Year and Lantern Festival even if they are not Chinese. The Lantern Festival ends the Chinese New Year. Bright lanterns are a symbol of good luck and hope. Some lanterns are in the shape of lions or dragons. Look how beautiful they look. Over this page we see many other celebrations all over the world in different cultures. So up on our left on the page, we see Bumba Mil Boy, a popular celebration, popular festival in Northern Brazil. It takes place at the end of June. There are parades with dancers wearing fantastic costumes, such as these bird costumes. Uh, we can see also on your right the Jewish festival of Hanukkah. This festival lasts eight days and each evening a candle is lit on a menorah and children receive gifts, money and chocolate coins. Down on the page we can see children sitting around Santa both Americans and Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving, but at different times. A turkey mule is part of this family holiday. Turkey is also a favorite Christmas food in both countries. Christmas is a Christian holiday that celebrates, uh, celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. Santa has become a part of Christmas. He is known by different names in many countries. So in Brazil, for example, he is known as Papai Noel. Another way to express our culture is through sports. Sports are physical activities that are played by a set of rules. Some sports, such as running or skiing, can be done alone. Other sports are games played by two people or by team. Many sports are played using balls. Soccer, football, tennis and baseball are all ball games. Baseball was invented by a Canadian professor who nailed a peach basket to a wall and made up rules for playing the game. And pay attention! Football is an American game that is part rugby and part soccer. And soccer is known as football in most countries. It is the most popular sport in the world. It was first played in England. To play lacrosse, two teams try to score by passing and catching a ball using sticks with nets. Lacrosse was first played by native North American almost a thousand years ago. Hockey is the national winter sport of Canada. Hockey came from hockey-like games played by Scottish and Irish and British immigrants. 
yoga is a great way to stretch the body and quiet the mind. Yoga came from India. It has been practiced there for over 5,000 years. Now, it is a popular exercise all over the world. Yoga means union. Yoga helps bring together the body and the mind. Karate is a martial art that is part Japanese and part Chinese. Martial arts were created for self-defense. Culture of art. This picture is called Carnation Lily Lily Rose. It was painted by John Singer Sargent, an American artist. Uh, it is his most popular work of art. What is your favorite work of art? Do you guys remember Leonardo da Vinci and Mona Lisa? What is art? Art is a way of using colors, shapes, and textures to create paintings, sculptures, and stages. Art can also be a beautiful dress, a play, a sport, or the way food is prepared. People show their imaginations and cultures through art. Checking the picture a little closer here. The station on the right is of Shiva, a Hindu god. It is a religious work of art and part of a culture of India. This is the statue. Right? Uh, this Korean boy's costume and kite are both work of art. And this is a painting. Our multicultural world. We live in a multicultural world. Multicultural means made up of many cultures. People are different, but we are also the same. We are the same because we all need air, water, and food. We are the same because we all share the same home. Earth is our home. We are connected to one another because we live on Earth. We are a family. People in a family are alike, but they are not the same. All over this world, people are different too. So that's it in your three. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have learned more about cultures in different countries and continents. Uh, so see you next time. Take care, guys. And if you have any questions and anything to share about this beautiful book, please text me through Google Classroom. See you next time. Bye-bye.